Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bobby Little. I'm the executive director of the Christian Embassy. The Christian Embassy is a ministry of crew, formerly known as Campus Crusade for Christ, founded by Dr. Bill Bright and his lovely bride, Vinette. And Vinette is here today. Vinette, so glad to have you. Not only did Vonette and Bill establish or found Campus Crusade for Christ, they also founded the Christian Embassy in 1975, a ministry whose mission is to encourage members of Congress, presidential appointees, ambassadors, military and civilian leaders in the Pentagon, their spouses and their staffs to help them in their spiritual lives. It is my distinct privilege to introduce His Excellency Ambassador Steve Matenje from the Republic of Malawi, who will give the prayer for the nations. His Excellency became Ambassador to the Republic of Malawi to the United States of America on September 16, 2010, the day he presented letters and credentials to the President of the United States. He also serves his nations as the top diplomat to Canada, Mexico, Argentina, and Colombia. He has been a public servant in the Malawi Public Service since 1980. Prior to his appointment to the United States, His Excellency served as ambassador and permanent representative of the Republic of Malawi to the United Nations. From 1995 to 2006, he served as Solicitor General and Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Justice. Ambassador Matenje holds a Master's of Arts degree in Business Law from City London Polytechnic and a Bachelor of Science, a Bachelor of Laws with honors from Chancellor College, University of Malawi. He is married to the lovely Isabel, and they are a godly couple. They have four children. So ladies and gentlemen, please uh, welcome His Excellency, Ambassador Steve Matunje. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, Bobby, for that kind introduction. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I bring you warm greetings in the name of the Lord. It is my honor to lead you in a prayer for the nations, and I'd like to thank the Christian Embassy for inviting me to join you this morning. In Proverbs 14, verse 34, in the Holy Scriptures, God says, righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Lord, we know that your word says that the earth is yours and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Jesus, we praise you because all things were created by you and for you. You are before all things, and in you all things hold together. God, we pray in concert with King David, who acknowledged that everything comes from you, and anything we give comes from your hand. Our Heavenly Father, as we turn our thoughts to the nations of the world, we pray, firstly, that those you have allowed to serve in government would remember that theirs is a delegated responsibility. And with it comes an accountability to you for their actions. We pray that they might continue to allow the proclamation of your word in their societies that all peoples may lead quiet lives in all godliness and dignity, and be allowed to come to the knowledge of the truth. 
We pray that you would grant them wisdom and courage. Wisdom in the face of complex decisions they make daily that they might choose the right path rather than the easy path. Give them courage that they may not shrink back from tough decisions because they know they will be unpopular. We ask you to help them remember the poor, the immigrants, those who have no political or economic power, and to truly practice the golden rule of Lord Jesus Christ. We pray that they would make decisions which would benefit the many and not just a few. We pray also for the peoples of the world that you would allow them to make peace with you through the Lord Jesus Christ, that they might raise their families in peace and security, that you would put your love in their hearts for the homeless and the hurting, the discouraged and the disenfranchised. We pray for those who have few or no choices in ordering their lives that they might be set free from whatever bondage they live under. As your word says, they shall know the truth and the truth shall set them free. We pray for the peacemakers in our world today, whether they be in our individual countries or families. We remember the leadership and people of all countries on earth, on each continent, that are struggling with political, economic, religious, and social issues as they seek to plot a course for their futures. Comfort the people of China affected by the recent earthquakes as they face the loss of loved ones, injury from disaster, and the loss of their homes and possessions. We pray for the people of Bangladesh affected by the recent collapse of a factory building in their country. Stop human trafficking wherever it is perpetrated and protect our women and children, especially young girls, from sexual abuse and gender-based violence in our countries and homes. Enable the rescue of those caught in this, in this trap help the children in our countries to respect and obey their parents and elders. Quell drug-related violence in all parts of the world. Bring peace to the areas affected and stop that trade which brings destruction to so many. Finally, Lord, we pray for the cities of the world. Make cities on all continents desirable places where people thrive. Eliminate the sources of hunger, poverty, squalor, crime, and exploitation, which characterize so many of our cities and countries. Thank you, God, for hearing our prayer and for the love which motivates you to hear us. In the name of Jesus, the name above all names, we pray. Amen. <laughs>